Okay. It was a little longer because I was like, wait, where is that other audio cable? Oh. It's over th on the other side of the room. Wait, why is this only playing through my left ear? That's just how the menu is? That's just how the menu is. More like Panzer Dragoon Snorta, because it was boring? Hey, so this is actually a collection of games one and two, which means that it comes with a fancy anime cutscene that like is for the whole series. So I'm actually gonna let that play out while I hit the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. You can check out this cool anime shit, and also spoilers for the next game, which I think I'm just gonna go right into next stream. I'm back. What could these mysterious images mean? We are in the Robo GT. Yeah, she might be able to know what happens in the next game since she's in with me, but um it's important for her kin feels that she pretends that she does not, so she can establish a more separate persona. And vice versa. I have to pretend not to know all the shit about things that Shell knows. Let's see, Curly, I know. I know what you're into. Hi Boots. So hi Ven. I think I didn't say hi Carbon. I think I just said we are in the Robo PP Carbon. So hi Carbon. How long is this thing? I thought it was like three minutes. Did they really make a full like seven minute anime intro? That's kind of good. And I guess it'll give people time to come in since I'm not doing Streets of Rage at all. God, I feel like all the games. I also got Wonderful 101 last, technically last night from Portax. Because the physical copies aren't going out, so they gave everyone keys, and Portax very generously gave hers to me. Um, and I don't think it's really officially- like, I don't think you can buy it. I think you can only get it if you kickstarted it. Uh, I played it a little bit today. Very fun. Boy, also kind of a danky patch. It opens up in a window that Windows doesn't recognize. Like, it opens up, and if you go to Windows, there's no window for Wonderful 101 in the taskbar. Which is insane. I've actually never seen that happen. But Windows is just like, no, there's nothing there, even though there is. And at one point, after I alt-tabbed a couple times, it did appear. But actually, at one point, I think it didn't even show up in the alt-tab menu. 
So like the first time I alt tabbed and I just couldn't go back. I had to I had to minimize all the other windows to see it because it was still in windowed mode. Yeah, there are some other janky things about it launching. Once it launched, it was fine though. And I guess it isn't technically released yet, so. This is Anubis, by the way. He's kind of a big deal. I think we'll learn more about him tonight. You do play as the robots in this game. It's like a giant robot anime distilled down entirely to um, robots fighting and then people like yelling at each other about dramatic things that happened in the past. So I think it's just all the good parts of robot animes. Not that I'm an expert on robot animes. That would be Julia. I think. Does Julia like Gundam? Or am I getting that mixed up? Carbon, literally, yes. Like, that's... I guess he doesn't really have a katana, but basically, exactly, yes. Really funny if it did in my site. Good game. I think I had a bunch of save slots. Which one was? Oh, they're all from 2005, so they're gonna be a little outdated. Um, must be this one, right? Oh yeah, I can look at runtime too. So if you if so last time, uh, we fought our way through the. The absolutely insane filler, where you just bounce between three maps doing nothing inconsequential for like an entire hour, even though it's the second hour of the game. And then after that, we finally made it up to the mountains, where we got some kind of virus from when we had we had t in the middle of that we hacked into and controlled a raptor drone, and then we went to go fight a boss, but we were all hacked, and it turns out the raptor infected us with a virus. Listen, Leo. What is it? You moved the enemy's orbital frame, didn't you? Oh. Oh, oh I guess maybe this will sum that up too. The monitor while we're in battle. Maybe you didn't notice it. Wait a minute. Let me check. And I think we're mostly done with like any what padding. What? They just like sort of put it all in that one virus? area. I think everything else from this point on is like actually consequential in some way. The program is infected with do? a virus. I don't know. Oh, I know. The laboratory where Ada was made is near here. If we go there, we nice might piece. find something like a vaccine. Leo, why don't we go there? Um, so we are hacked, but there's also a, this SOS mission, so we're gonna try it. But this is, I, if I remember correctly, the hardest SOS mission. Most of the other SOS missions, the, like, the challenge is trying to save the people. And this one, if I remember, well, you'll see. And I, I might not be able to do it. Leo, I know I've asked far too much of you. Thank you. It's nothing, really. It's I don't not like, like that. that. Look, a helicopter's being attacked. What is it doing here? Let's save it. Um, Leo. you'll notice all the enemies are level one. However, you also notice we have no health. And the game goes out of its way to emphasize that by giving us Metatron. We have obtained the Metatron. That does nothing. Aura. Damn, it won't so work. that's what the hack we does to us. Is, is we have is we are on a one hit kill. Of the virus? Let's find the vaccination program now. And if I remember correctly, you can't... If you go get the vaccination program, this will be over. But maybe not. If you do it quickly. They are nice enough to make all the enemies level 1. But... You still die a lot. I think I'll give this one more try. And then... I will probably say... Leo, I... Come back later. Oh, 
Oh no, don't you sniper. He died, he didn't die. Damage to the surroundings increasing due to battle. Come on, hit him so I can stun lock him, please! Alright, so... I think if I leave the area, the SOS auto fails? So I'm gonna see if I can go get the vaccine and then come back before the SOS times out. But I'm not gonna try that hard. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. This game doesn't do too- the second game puts a lot of, like, get level gimmicks and various things, but, uh, this game only does that in the SOS missions. The second game is, like, every single area is a set piece. This whole thing's actually just, like, a prelude to the second game. It's kind of insane that they did that. It's literally just an introduction to a game that came out two years later. So this is the home of Ada. <clears throat> it seems there's a local server here. Yes. I hope Ada can be fixed. What was that? Well, it was a drone, but invisible. We have obtained the Metatron ore. Damn, it won't work. We can't repair it. Is this also an effect of the virus? Let's find the vaccination program now. Where am I even going? So this is where the factory where Ada was made. And we don't really want to fight anybody, so this is sort of like a stealth mission. We are heading for the outer area of the battle zone. By the way, I don't know if you've noticed, but you can see all the enemy squads. Like, that's the circle around me. It tells you where they are. And when they get orange, it means you're close to getting in range for a battle. A little tunnel. Damage to the okay, surroundings. I'm just blowing shit up. To yeah, the I don't care. There's no one here. Colony damage increasing due to battle. We have shot down the enemy. We got past vaccine. We have obtained the program. Let me begin the Ada system recovery. Can you do that? <laughs> Can you do that? I did get a cheap ass. Recovery is complete. I will begin controlling Jehuti again. Ada? Yes? Are you back to normal now? It is difficult for me to make that judgment. If you are asking whether there is no more difficulty with the virus, the answer would be yes. Ada, are you my mommy again? That's great. I have already deleted the infected modules. I am what? sorry for the oh, trouble. Sorry. What did you say? I repeat, I am sorry for the trouble. That's okay. Let us continue. Well, she said mission. sorry. And this is... we need... We need the for code. it, so we'll be back later. That. Can I leave the area? No, I have to go outside. Reasonable. Now, uploading. Oop, I got into a fight. I didn't really want to. What's my, uh, Oh yes, it's this button. I couldn't remember how to switch. Targets. Wow, we this dude just kind of let me have that fight. I appreciate it, buddy. Is there uh, anything I want here? Really? Enemy backup. See if I can do that SOS. Mommy.exe has encountered a fatal error. My analysis of a projected battle against the gigantic orbital frame is as follows. We do not have an effective means of okay, defense I think that against SOS the is gone. weapons of the enemy. We missed it. I recommend that we do not approach the orbital frame until we have found a solution. Any good tactics in your database? Presently, Jehuti is not installed with anything beyond the minimum set of system programs. There should be additional function modules. Let us search for unobtained function modules. We have received an SOS right, right. from lock D07. 
A squadron of raptors are attacking the colony shaft. Nice. If the colony shaft is destroyed, it will cause major damage to the colony. My colony itself. shaft no! could use that kind Leo, of attention. We've got to go and help them. Let me indicate block D zero. So yeah, that that SOS marker. we can't go back and do it now. It's just it's done. It's a very mean thing they do. It's ridiculously hard that you can't take one hit during it. But I think I think I actually got pretty close. There might have not been any more enemies. I can take a turtle. Oh hell yeah, pump these jams. I don't really understand what this does. Does it keep up the canopy? The glass? Like I don't really <laughs> It destroys your colony. The squadron approaching the I guess I could do that. So in this one you want to fight quickly because they will actually- they're like coming from the outside to attack the shaft. Nice. Enemy backup force is approaching our location. We have shot down the enemy. We have obtained the metal drop. Uh, why are you not? Okay, that was weird. Enemy backup force is approaching our location. Enemy backup forces are in battle position. We have shot down the enemy. Oh god, he grabbed me. Oh no, I hit him into the shaft. Oh, thank god, I didn't. Fine, I'll hit this guy. We have shot down the enemy. Damage index exceeding 50%. I don't really want to fight him next to that thing. There we go. We have shot down I only lost area. one. That wasn't so bad. Accomplished. I will report damage to it was only a areas from this few battle. hundred dead. There are a few damaged buildings. A few were injured or killed. The attack on the colony shaft is a harsh crater. Right on a curve. For now. Well done, Leo. Whew. It's saved. I think that's all to do here. Yeah. Please get to crease. <laughs> Okay, where to? Oh, is this like the... I think this is the last time I need to, um, randomly go to a place that it doesn't tell me where I need to go to. I think it's this one. But I know the trick now. I just need to go and see if there's someone with a passcode. It's not this one, but I'm actually going to fight these guys because I need the Metatron. So it's kind of fortuitous. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Holy shit! Nice hit. Extremely good hit. Yeah, Boots is right. That is basically the Metal Gear Solid ending. The uh, DM over screen. Which is weird because he wasn't that involved in this game. Maybe that was someone else's. Oh, that was supposed to be a dash. Right. There we go. We have uh. 
just wanted to heal. He, he literally just came in to consult on the game over screen. I would really... I would really not put it past him. Wait, I'm on the wrong side, aren't I? Yes, I am. Right? Because this is the side we've got to. So it'll probably be one of these. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, here we are. Yep. I was right. I got it mixed up. I had the wrong side of the world map. But these folks are cloaked. It seems that in this area there is an enemy which we cannot define by visionary traits. What do you mean? The enemy is in stealth visionary? mode. We cannot lock on to an enemy in Not stealth condition. I recommend you not get any closer to it until we can find a solution. Hello, Rex. So we can't find a solution to the invisible people either. If we go near them, they can fight us, but we can't fight them. Because we can't even lock onto them, so we basically can't hit them. Damn, what should I do? I forgot, this is the last bit of padding, is this bit. We have previously taken control of an enemy target. <coughs> but it's not as bad. function module designed to detect any system peculiarities. Theoretically, we can access the same function through it. A target I controlled? I see that one. So it is like, well, that infected thing we fought before, it did have this sweet program in it that lets you see invisible things, but I didn't keep it. I was like, nah. I think he was at this one. He might have been at the other one, but I'm pretty sure it was. I am going to fight a few dudes here, though, because uh, I could use some levels. Oh dear. Oh, does that block that? It does, I forgot. We have shot down the enemy. We have shot down the enemy. God, Halber's are really fun to use. It locks you in place while you're using it, but you actually get we to manually aim it. We will cease battle position. Take these things off. We will hold battle position. We are heading for the outer area of the battle zone. I should have gone for you first, huh? We have shot down the enemy. Yeah, Zo Zo just looks even though Zo one is mostly just we like random kills enemy. and it has like only three enemy types. It looks really good. This the thing. You dodged that? I don't really think you did. I think you just sort of moved to the side a moment. We are heading for the outer area of the battle zone. We have shot down the enemy. Oh, you're a commando, huh? I guess I should go for you first, technically. Oh, I almost got him locked in a loop. We have shot down the enemy. We have obtained the Reminder, if I kill the dudes with asterisks, everyone else gets battle really position. weak. We will hold battle position. Oh, you don't usually shield all day. We have shot down the enemy. Enemy backup force is approaching our location. Enemy oh, that's not so great. Are in battle position. Uh, I gotta come around this one because there's too many guys. We have shot 
I should use this more. It's really good. Okay, there we go. We have shot down the enemy. We will cease battle position. I really need a refill on my geyser. We will hold oh. battle position. It's actually useless outside. Oh yeah, this one. Oh, and I looked up what Mummy did. I forgot that it heals you. If you hold it down, it heals you. That's why it's better than shield. But I'm not sure that will work here because it only heals you if you press the button hard. And since I'm playing the Xbox re-release, -re it doesn't have pressure sensitivity on the buttons. So I don't really know how it replicates that. We have shot down the enemy. We will cease battle position. We will hold battle position. Come on, Dr. Shield, thank you. We have shot down the enemy. We have shot down the enemy. We have All right, let's go. Metatron Wait. Aura. Yep, no, I'm right. I did not get turned around. What if I hardly press it? Pressing hard or hard? Did I make that joke? I made that joke. I made that joke last time. I'm gonna cut myself off right there. That is one of the staple, staple of about 10 jokes that Frank will reliably make at any given opportunity. Yeah, Konami really liked the pressure sensor buttons. I mean, Metal Gear Solid 2 used them really heavily, and I think really well. Like, maybe Konami are the only people who use them well. They feel really good in this game. Or they did feel, I mean, they don't feel now because I don't have them. Oh, am I in the wrong place? Nope, I'm in the right place. Here it is. This is the one. It's our friend who we were, and now we're gonna kill him. It's so sad. And since we're inside, I can just exploit Geyser to we can do that. We have obtained the anti-stealth module. Good. I can feel <laughs> Nice <now>. shell. <laughs> I can beat them now. So I think I can just see them, or do I just have the passcode? Hold, probably paid attention. Oh no, yeah, it's just the software itself. How bead? That is a bad font. Okay, so now we can go kill the stealth guys. Oh, right, there's this too. These guys are here now. We have destroyed a border. So these were stealth, and now they're unstealth. Oh, come on. We have destroyed a border. There we go. We have destroyed a border. Trap has been and what do I get? Right! This is the best sub-weapon in the game, so I did want that. I don't know if you remember, but I came across this last stream and I didn't know how to open it. And this is how you open it. We have obtained the program. So I can't use it yet, but Gauntlet just fires like a single shot straight forward. A little slow, but it does crazy damage and it knocks people back, and I think if it knocks them into a wall it does extra damage, so... It's... it's just kind of the best sub-weapon because it actually... Um... Now we go to town three. To see the invisible people. So we can get the decoy, so we can avoid the decoy man, so we can find out why he swallowed the fly. Because I don't know why he swallowed the fly. Who are trying to kill here? Anybody specific? Or... Oh, there's a passcode over there. Colony damage increasing due to battle. 
So they're still like stealth, because I guess we can't actually see them, it's just like now that you can lock onto them. Oh god, oh god, oh god, there's like five of them on me, I'm escaping. Like this noise. We will cease battle position. That was way too much. We will hold battle position. Colony damage increasing due to battle. Enemy backup forces. Ah, these guys are all really grouped together. I recommend you stand back a certain distance and attack the enemy one by one. Come on. Gotcha. Okay. We have shot down the enemy. Is our Maybe I should have fought the level 2 guys first, huh? Oh my god. Oh my god. It's too much. Oh my god, he's just chasing me! I can hear him boosting! Jesus Christ! I need to fight a Metatron dude, but they're all very high level. And next to other people. Colony damage I hope I'm hitting one, I can't. Where did my ball go? Why is it just vanishing? What? I don't understand. Enemy backup force. Isn't. All right, let's approach that a little better. L bead. Oh, I could have used mummy. I forgot. That was stupid. Oh, there's just Metatron on the ground. That's unfortunate, I didn't see that. Yeah, I blew that one up. It was me. Deal. We have shot down the enemy. Enemy backup force is approaching our location. I do not give a shit. Okay, we're done. We're out. We out. We out. We got a few. We got a few. Tizen. You, now I grab you. Okay, those guys are gonna dodge the attack, I guess, but the other ones won't. Yeah, I blew up the building. And I blew up that building. What do you wanna do about it? You're gonna give me a lecture, Ada, about blowing up empty real estate? We will cease battle position. It is a fucking landlord. I should have fought the dudes behind me, I know. I recommend you initiate a one-on-one -on -one battle in distant condition. I'm gonna do exactly that. We will hold battle position. Wow, look at him dodge! That's not gonna work. In fact, it's gonna do me a lot of damage. Alright, I'm just gonna have to do this one by one. There's no skirting by. Really? Does these guys feel like- I feel like these guys have extra long detection range or something. Here, you now hear me. Well then I'll back up. Index 
Exceeding 50%. Okay, now I just need to kill this dude. You can see too. We have shot down the enemy. Enemy backup force is approaching our location. I'm gonna have to kill this dude who's just patrolling and oh no wonder that dude's just patrolling all over every shooting the supporting the insurance. <laughs> How did I even hit one that far away? Oh, that's probably one of the other enemies. We have shot down the enemy. Gotcha. We will see Let me fight this level three dude. We will hold battle position. I think in this game the enemies actually we get less likely to like dodge your stuff if they're lower level than you. I'm not sure about that, but like, I think the higher level enemies are actually we smarter about fighting enemy. We will cease battle Grand position. This. We have obtained the Metatron Aura. Now these bridges are built rock solid. Can't, you can't break these bridges. Are, wait, does everybody left have Metatron? Okay. Oh, you don't. Hey. We will hold battle position. Colony damage increasing due to battle. Enemy backup force is approaching our location. Ooh. Why did I do that? We have shot down Fine. the enemy. We will cease. Let's see if I can snipe these dudes. I'm not gonna I missed. We will hold battle position. Colony damage increasing due to oh, battle. Oh shit, nice. We have shot down the enemy. We have shot down the enemy. I think the level 3 dude was just charging how I think that the um, raptors just always dodge Halberd. I think they're just sort of like programmed that they just they will always dodge it. Whereas this dude will not dodge it nearly so well. Once they get out of it, they just dodge it. Because otherwise it would be crazy powerful. Why are you still alive? Wow, Charge Slash is so good in this we game. Why am I not using it? Like, constant. What a fool I am. And I can't even shield it. Crazy. We have shot down the enemy. We have obtained the Metatron I've been such a order. fool, and I'm sorry, Street. I'm position. sorry, everybody. We will hold battle position. We have shot down the enemy. Damage to the okay, that's everybody. Wow, I'm still level 5, though. Okay, there we go. I didn't count many enemies. Look, Boots, if you're gonna add up all the grammar mistakes in this game, uh, let me know what number you come to, because I would be interested. It's a lot, probably. It was not translated very naturally. Um, anyways, wait, what did I get? I got a passcode for... Right, okay, so I need to go to Factory 2 now. That thing I couldn't open before? Now I can open it. You can count three English errors. And then we'll be done with our second and final fetch quest. I'm pretty sure I promised that this time for real. No, I will leave that. I am going to fight these dudes to get some levels, though, because I'm a little underleveled. I still don't have gauntlets. I would like some gaunt. Is that a porter? It is. Damage to the surroundings oh, yeah, I think there's a hidden sub-weapon here, which I'll get once I kill everybody. We have shot down the enemy. Oh, they can dash away if they're quick types. 
And a shot down the enemy. We will see spat on. Um, it is kinda like virtual on. And trust a lot like it once you get locked on. Damage to the surroundings increasing due to battle. Damage index exceeding 50%. We have shot down the enemy. Oh no! Enemy backup. Oh, he actually grabbed me. Our location. Did not aim that right. Oh my god, this dude will not die. Thank you. We have shot down I got gauntlet enemy. now. We will cease battle position. Let's use gauntlet. We will hold so it takes a second to charge up, but it kind of always hits, and I don't think they can shield it, or at least they won't. And it does a lot of damage. We have shot down the enemy. We have shot down the enemy. It's very good. I'm gonna not use it too much right now so I can build up a stock of it. I think I need more. This is gonna be too far away, right? Oh no, I got him! Sort of. Oh god, they're kind of ganging up on me. I don't like it. Oh, I'm, I'm in trouble. Ooh! That was very close. We will cease battle position. Yeah, Adam was here, but he doesn't- he is- he's racist against robots. I know I'm not supposed to talk about that. It's just this- it's, it's that uncomfortable thing, like, you're not supposed to say it, you know? But everybody knows. All our fans know. Adam is just, like, a, a roboticist. By which I don't mean someone who makes robots, but like a racist, but for robots. Unfortunately, it's the same as roboticist. It's the same word. We didn't come up with a better word. I'm sorry. We should've come up with a better word. Ooh, you can't shield that. We have shot down the enemy. Colony damage increasing. Has it occurred to you that I don't care about destroying a random radar tower, Ada? It's like just a it's not even a it's a nothing, it's just like a pylon. We have shot down the enemy. Literally nothing. We need to talk about it. We will cease battle position. And yeah, it was fucking close to views. I was sweating a little bit. We will hold battle position. Colony damage increasing due to battle. We have shot down the enemy. Gotcha. He was trying to do the thing to me, but I did it to him. We will cease battle okay, I'll kill this thing. And then I will, uh, I'll kill all these porters. Oh, I gotta level up! Oh, me. I think I'm a little underleveled in general. The game kind of expects you to do not tons of grinding, but like a little bit. And I haven't done almost any. We will cease battle position. Like, I think, I think during the fetch quest they expect you to wander to the wrong towns a few times and get in some extra fights. We have destroyed a porter. Porter hunt. We have destroyed that is pretty a good, I shall. It's definitely Ada's most endearing trait. It's telling this stupid kid to shut up and art and kill the bad guys already. We have destroyed a portal. Over there on the map, it does not. Better check. Here, nope. I'm glad I remembered Sniper does this. We have destroyed Otherwise, destroying porters is actually the worst thing in the world. But it uh, auto targets with a pretty wide we radius. Have destroyed a porter. A waste of good porter. 
Here, uh, way over there. Okay. So if I remember correctly, this is Comet. We have obtained the item. Or it's not that. Huh. Did it just give me ammo for something I don't have yet? It might have. That's pretty stupid. I guess you're right, Turtle. That is basically the theme of Westworld. The documentary Westworld. Roboticists are racist against robots. We need the I have passcode. the passcode. Am I insane? Did I just waste a bunch of time? Pass decoy 2. Oh, okay, I need pass decoy 1, obviously. Obviously, I need pass decoy 1. What a fool. Whatever. We'll just consider that, like, extra grinding for us. To get to level 6. I think the max is level 8. Or at least that's, like, where you should be by the end of it. I'm gonna do the fun thing and check every area really, really quickly for passwords. I forgot you need two passwords. I lied about being done with the fetch quest. Leo, in this condition, you can wow. never win. Let's leave here for now. Okay, so that's where the boss is. That's what we need decoy for. Did he too? I detect an enemy with a reinforced program. Be careful. Oh, there's porters here. And a password. This is where we want to be. We will hold battle position. We have shot down the enemy. We have shot down the enemy. We have obtained the passcode. Time to get revenge for that stupid mission. Uh oh. Kill him quickly. We have shot down the enemy. Enemy backup force is approaching our location. That went okay. That's the last dude. I'll just go kill him for the Metatron. Oh, he's got Comet. That's actually dangerous. God, it's satisfying to just kill them all. Okay, quarter time. We have destroyed a quarter. I got quarter pounder. <laughs> oh, it's like quarter pounder. It's not just a weird sexual sounding phrase. It's supposed to be a fun. We have destroyed a quarter. 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 Vector. Tra We have there it is. The Here's Comet. I knew it was around here somewhere. So Comet's the second best sub-weapon. Um, it does more damage than Gauntlet, but it's uh, kind of hard to hit. It like bounces around and stuff. It's good indoors, more or less. But uh, outside it's kind of hard to hit. It bounces around. You've seen the, um, the raptors can use it some. It's the big orange. And I think there's a couple other sub-weapons left to get, and I don't think any of them are good, but I think they're all required, so it doesn't matter. Anyways, this time we'll just sneak right into Factory 2. I will not fight enemies if I can help it. I'll probably have to fight one. Sneaking mission. We are heading for the outer area. We are heading for the outer area of the battle zone. 
No, I made it in, no problems. Oop, nope. I don't know why I said those words. Oh wait, if I just... Oh, they can't follow me indoors, that would be dangerous. We have obtained the program. We have obtained a decoy device driver. What's a decoy? I'm glad you're getting it. It is a kitty. function which makes a temporary electronic vision of Jehuti. It enables us to escape from many okay, enemies there using we go. sensors. That means we can escape from that giant enemy we saw? I am not certain, but we may be able to fight against it. All right, let's, let's try. try. So I think those dudes are just going to be waiting for me at the exit, right? No, we're good. I don't think your aunt should have given you any wine for the kitten. Though. I don't think it's good. I'm not a cat expert, but I don't think you should get kittens wine. So now we have decoy, and we have five uses of it. And it will be vital for getting close to this big sniper rope. <laughs> little O1. <laughs> you made it through the trap. Well done. It wasn't just luck that let you defeat Tempest. Why do you do such terrible things? <laughs> if you kill me, I'll lose control over the raptors. Wanna try? So that's you need to use decoy when he uses that ability, or he will hit you, guaranteed. I remember that much. I don't remember the rest of this fight very well. Oh shoot! He has a grab. I can't get out. I'll blast you. I'll blast you. See, so yeah, I think you just can't get close to this guy. He's a ranged fight only, but he takes a lot of damage from range weapons. Oh, it's fine. Oh, you can shoot these. I was wondering how I did them. And he's a transformer, like all good robots. I'll take you guys out from the shit. Not where it wrong again. He turns into this cool as hell thing that definitely looks like something I would have made out of Lego. Now, take this. Ooh. I'm gonna actually use Mummy here. See, look, it heals me. As long as I don't get hit, it keeps healing me. So that's why it's so nice. That's why mummies are so well hidden. I don't know, you have to go out of your way for them, is so, that. Oh dear. Ah shit. That's not an effective attack against me. Oh god, I just need to get out of the way when he does that. Uh oh. Okay, I super can't get close. I really need to start dodging that specific attack. Oh, he comes around, huh? I recommend you escape from this battle. It's all over. Oh, two of them. Oh, he's doing it again. That seems like cheating. He does sound like a Sonic the Hedgehog character. <laughs> I don't know is a great villain motivation, actually. I'm very into it. You just missed out on being Oh, right! Hero, when you die to bosses, they taunt you, just like in Metal Gear Solid 2. The game that this game was a de reminder that this game came with the Metal Gear Solid 2 demo disc and was developed at basically the same time. Oh, 
Oh man, you're right, it is. He's basically Shadow the Hedgehog. You made it through the trip. Now Chaos Control you. A load of this. I need to get serious with you. Okay, I think I've got this one now that I know the pattern. We'll see. I don't think I'll even need to use mummy, but I just need to really respect this attack specifically and acknowledge that he can do it repeatedly. I guess he can do it as many times as it feels like, huh? Okay, this actually kind of runs, now that I get it. Also, I really like the design of this area. It looks like a government place, I guess? It's supposed to be a park. Or so it is called Park 3, but it doesn't really look like a park so much as like a... I don't know. Cool government... building place to me. Oh dear. I don't care, they're just... I mean, I don't know, maybe that was the Tomb of the Unknown Soldiers, but... The Tomb of the Unknown Martian Soldier, I guess. Oh shit, that one's gonna hit. Oh shit! Let's kill these probes. I didn't even see him watch the probes. And he didn't say anything about go probes. Ooh, that was close. I guess he always does it three times, so I thought he did it less. But... Gotcha. He's just hung by the hearing softness. Honestly, Dragon Friend, I was thinking Star Fox. He reminded me that, in fact, I quoted Star Fox at the start. That's the game. Right? They have stopped attacking the colony. That destroyed target below us must have been controlling the pilotless raptors flying over the colony. So we saved the colony? As far as this area here, everything Except has the been building saved. she blew you up. Mean the enemy is still around? Naturally. Won't you tell me to destroy it this time? If I did, would you do it? No. I can understand the <laughs> principle of your trying to spare human life. It is illogical, but I cannot help them. Aww. They're friends now. So now all of the pilotless drones are disabled. Which is nice. Obviously, because that's most of the attackers. But there's still some orbital frames. A message from the Atlantis has been received. This is Atlantis. Oh, remember these guys? You, They're sort of huh? supposed to be the plot. Yeah, I have just contacted the person you will give that orbital frame to. His name is Thunderheart, one of our colleagues. I'll put you through to him. I was drinking when she said Thunderheart. Testing, I was testing. not ready for the name Thunderheart. Leo, this is Thunderheart. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. What? He's just a kid. What? Elena, are you really sure this kid can replace Alan? How the hell do I know? <clears throat> I'm sure he can. And, Thunder, report on conditions. Sure. But listen, Leo. After Barum attacked Antilia, they declared a state of emergency and closed every single route to the spaceport. Sure. Barum forces are also on their guard, so it'll be a difficult mission for you. So. It does. I just forgot the about Thunderheart. They're that definitely crazy the names. Part of the spaceport with the outside ring of the colony. The entrance is near the warehouse, which is under the mountainous area. You'll have to get there on your own. What the hell? There's supposed to be a dam at the end of the block where you are now. 
Under that dam, there should be a warehouse area for carrying out Metatron. We will meet there. I expect some fighting getting through, but as far as I know, that's the He's safest so route. More fighting? Do you mean I have to do it all again? Of course. What are you in? It's a fighting orbital frame, isn't it? <laughs> he acts like he didn't know. Don't think that I'm a killer just like you. What? I only came here because I was told to give this to you. So hurry up. Come and get it. I've had enough of this. <laughs> Leo. Elena, I can't understand you either. People will be killed, you understand? Me and Selvis, we all might be killed over this. We all know that story. No, you don't. That's why Alan, one of your colleagues, had Whoa. to die. You don't give a damn about those who die. Whoa. You think it goes with the territory. That's enough, you little twerp. Alan was... Alan was Elena's and boyfriend. And my boyfriend. And my best friend. Of course we It was a polycule. What? I don't care if you're a boy or a complete stranger. You have no idea how important your task is, do you? Thunderheart Polycule. But you're the only person who can operate the orbital The name's Thunderheart now. Polycule. I'm one of the Patriots. I'm nearing the warehouse area. Just meet me there. I'll listen to your sob story <laughs> the then. Two, the, those are the Let's two genders, shall we? Nice. Okay, I, you got there before I, I did it. I you're at a loss after being dragged into all of this. But we need you to help us a little more. Please. Okay. I'll go. That's what you want, isn't it? What? I'll go to the warehouse. Is that what you want me to do? Sullen. Yes. Thank you. Sorry about what I said earlier. I mean, what I said about Alan. <sighs> Never mind. I was He technically hasn't killed anyone except the people See? in the buildings that he blew up. Because he did I did blow up some the of the buildings. Top in front of us is the dam. But Our that may or may not be canon. <laughs> what was that? I spot a flying orbital frame near the top of the mountain. It appears to be armed with particle projection cannon. To approach the dam from the air is almost suicide. There's nowhere to hide. Then what should I do? Well, there don't get a hit. Water gully, like a riverbed, on the slope of the mountain. I suggest you fly low along the gully up to the top of the mountain. Fly low along the gully. I see. You can't actually do that because it's the world map. But theoretically, I'm wondering if I should go back and try and find some Metatron. In fact, I think I'm going to do it. Oh, there's a question mark, actually. The question marks, if you'll remember, are places you can go to get mummy head, uh, the, the mummy item. And they only appear, like, you get one chance at each one. So it's an inherently limited item. Which is because it heals you, so it's really good to stockpile. We have obtained the item. If I remember correctly, there's actually a Metatron right here. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna jump right in here and grab it real and bounce because I didn't grab it before. Oh, and all the enemies are gone. Right, so I can just do it free of harassment. We have obtained the Metatron ore. The good thing I got to level six here actually. It was really good. I did the exact amount of. Otherwise, uh, that was close. And then I forgot which button was A and which was B on the Xbox controller because it's round on the Switch controller. For some reason, that's the one type of mapping I can't control. See, you can actually go back to all the places, and I don't know why you would. I guess to get some of the sub weapons. There won't be any enemies. Oh, there was just Metatron here, so... Whatever. I mean, they get mummy heads, so... Huh. Okay. We have obtained the Metatron or... What is this about? We have obtained okay, I feel like this is just stockpiling me before the final battle. Although I don't know why they're giving me... Oh, I guess there's still some enemies. I guess... 
That's weird. Shouldn't these all be gone? We have shot down the enemy. Damage to the surrounding I guess the person shooting the, the particle beam at us is controlling a few of their own. We have shot down the enemy. We will I don't know which way to go. I'm gonna go this way. We have obtained the item. Oh, here's Comet, by the way. In the original game, how hard you hit the button affected its trajectory. It looks like in this one, it just always goes straight. Which is probably an upgrade, because you usually want it to go straight. Oh dang. Oh dang, this guy's good. I'm powerful. And we're in a very small area. I don't like it. Oops, I wasn't facing right. They're S, so they're smarter and better. We have shot down the enemy. Okay. This is gonna get me hit! Holy sh- <laughs> Don't get hit by his charge attack, it's very good. Alright, let's give that a try too. And yeah, unknown means that's an item I don't- that's a sub weapon. that's ammo for a sub weapon I don't have. Is what unknown means. Which means I probably missed one somewhere. Who cares? Who could possibly care about like a random like maintenance bridge? These guys are incredibly easy compared to the next fight. Kinda wild. We have obtained the some Doritos and some nap. I want Gauntlet here. Okay, with just one, I think I can do this. Holy jeez, that's so much. Damn. We have shot down the enemy. We have obtained the passcode. Ah, I see. So that's for the final sub weapon. So this is sort of an optional little. We have obtained the program. What does Bounder do? I don't remember Bounder. Oh, Bounder's the one that bounces. Comet's the one that homes. I think Bounder kind of sucks, actually, but... Uh, because it will never hit, but I think it does more damage than Comet. So... I don't know. If you hit with it, it's good. We have shot down the enemy. I made you miss Bozart. We have obtained the Metatron. How do you know you miss Bozart? Yeah, Bozarth was in and out. He didn't actually have patience for this admittedly relatively slow paced game. Oh, I missed. We have shot down the enemy. We will cease battle position. Wait, your chat loads? We have obtained the Metatron or Your chat loads past stuff? I don't think mine does that. I haven't played Zone in a while, although I had definitely played it one time we since release. The item. Cause I know I played it 
like at some point after playing Zo 2, I play I came back and played it and then Zo 2 again. I like Zo and Anders 2 a lot. Oh, hello. I'll just bully this dude into the corner. We have shot down the enemy. We have obtained the Metatron Aura. We will cease back. Oh, okay. That makes sense item. to me. Damn, that chat scrolled way up. Sorry. You know how I get about inconsequential ways that various pieces of software work. It's very interesting to me. But I'm good at my job. Oh right, it did have a strategy RPG. It also had a prequel anime. Which sounds like it'd be really cool, but apparently there's basically no robots in the anime. I've only seen a little bit of it. I've never really actually intentionally Go watched it. But my understanding is it's mostly like a, a drama about the people who, like, about a bunch of people who are vaguely related to the events in this game and the second game. But like, they don't actually pilot any robots or anything, I think. We will cease battle or at least, like, no promo I've ever seen that shows any of the robots. Um, I bought this game for its own sake. I did not care about the Metal Gear Solid 2 demo very much. I never played- I did not play Metal Gear Solid 1 until after I played 2. Because I never had a PlayStation 1, remember. So, I just didn't- I bought this game because it seemed really cool and fast-paced and action-y. And for the time it was. And uh, it's been out of class since in the realm of 3D action combat, but uh, to the point where it now feels a little weird and slow. But uh, I think it holds up all right. We have I know, Dragon Friend, I don't understand it. I could be totally wrong. Maybe it's actually like 100% robots and I just have to have seen the tiny bits that aren't. But like, it looks just... It looks really boring and oh my god, oh my god, hold on, I need to do this now. We have shot down the enemy. Ooh, shit, shit, shit. That's just Jesus one with gauntlet, huh? We have shot down Ooh, okay. We have obtained. Guess I shouldn't have been talking during that fight. Yeah, that was the- it, most people bought this game for the demo, and it- it works as a game that comes with a demo, because the Zone of the Enders 1 is basically only half a game. It's got three basic enemies, it lasts three and a half, five hours if you, like, really ramble around a bit. It really is kind of half a game. Okay, sorry. I gotta concentrate. We have obtained okay, so I tried to play some PCSX2, but apparently it does certain things that are really, really hard to emulate, so it ran so poorly I couldn't stream it. And then I tried to find another way to stream it, but they never ported this one to PC, only the second game. So what I'm doing, what I'm doing, maybe, is I went into- I booted up my Xbox 360, and I managed to log into Xbox Live, which was incredibly difficult to do. Harder than you're thinking of it. We have obtained the Metatron really, I'm just, I'm, I'm insane and my brain is bad. Like, I can't explain it. Yeah, fine, we'll fight. This thing never hits, huh? Oh, if I hit it at the wall, it might. We have shot down the enemy. We have 
We have obtained the Metatron Ore. That was just an optional fight to open a shortcut back I think, that I don't need. No, these bridges are weak. What's the thing? I didn't have a Microsoft account that was eligible, Turtle. I had to make a new one. My existing Xbox Live account just wouldn't work, no matter what. And you had to sign up for a new one in a really specific way. Here's Nebula. I don't really remember. Okay. Oh, you can't shield that. Good to know. Oh yeah, this dude hits and runs. I remember. He just flies around. And he leaves a lot of things that will do the shooting for him. And I think he's another one you can't really get any close range attacks on. At least not yet, maybe as a second phase. Oh shit. It's all about timing your attack in between his attacks, the thing I'm very failing to do right now. I'm gonna concentrate because I think if I lose this guy I might have to do that whole last bit over again, I'm not sure. I don't think so, but maybe. That. He left a minefield somewhere. This won't hit right now. It helms a little bit, but. There we go. I'll never go easy on you. No, I mean, that's fair. The way a lot of people felt about the Wii is how I felt about the Xbox 360. It had, like, five or six games I really liked playing. But I don't think I had that many more that I really cared about. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay, I'm not gonna attack for a second, just to see how this plays out, huh? Doing his dive bomb, I guess. I am not actually doing any damage to him. Oh, here we go. Look at the way this brutish thing extrudes its parts. That's my way of saying I think it's kind of hot. Okay, so I purely have to dodge before he lets me hit him, or do I need to... Okay. How about this? These things, how do I dodge them? Damage index exceeding 75%, indicating major damage. Okay, we good. I think I need to hit his head a bunch to make him... Oh, jeez. Guys, ah.
There we go. I do need to hit him a bunch. That's beautiful. Oh shit, he did not stop. I thought he would stop with whatever that attack was. He had not. I don't know what this is. I know what it is. It's that. Oh, that's how I should be doing that. Okay, I've got his pattern now. I can hit him after he finishes the dive bomb. If I do- well, depending on what he leaves behind. I can't always. This attack is still really tricky. Oh, that's interesting. I'm gonna fucking die. Got him. That was close. The kind of guy who feels a comes from beating kids at Fortnite. What about Katamari Animal Crop? Radio from Rock, Rock Thunderheart. Thunderheart. Thunderheart? He is right. registered as the person That's who received full name. this frame. Oh, that guy. Good. You're alive. What? You've arrived at the dam? Uh-huh. Good. There's an underground waterway used to draw water from the mountainside lake. Go in there by the exit at the waterfall. Go down the tunnel, and you'll come to the warehouse area where you'll find a linear driver. I'll meet you there. Can you do that? I can't do that. Answer me, boy. I can't tell till I actually try it. <laughs> You're quite right. Me? See you there. I don't know until he I. He doesn't care about our troubles. He doesn't care about our troubles. Only one of his friends died, and three of mine did. Uh, yeah. Viola, this is Noman. I got Target Alpha while it was being transported. If it was because it's an entire you? space colony. Night Raid has just been shot down. Nebula. Oh wait, Viola, but you've got a good point. You? I think it's they implied it was for power. Automatic repairs have been completed too. I don't know. I bet there's something no in the lore so that far. explains it, because this game has That's a lot of lore true. somewhere. Only fifty percent has been done. I told you I can do it without weapons. Let me do battle with him. Slow down. Bravo will be with you soon. Listen, Viola. After this mission, you can have my Selkis. I'll give it to you. So, you prefer your new toy to the frame you used to adore? Anubis is superb. You can't imagine how good <laughs> it is. The quality of an orbital frame depends on how good the runner manipulates it. Jehuti's runner is. Here it comes. I'm heading back into the battle. I'll it's Viola, remember her? I will be finished by the time it was you me, get here. And Save had a death wish. Me. I want to try out Anubis. 
I've got work to do. That's my game. I've played a Neo Geo pocket color, but it was yours. Is it around here? No one's here. What? I detect an enemy presence ahead. Oh hell yeah, we get real cutscenes. You're doing very well. Shut up! Does have How a good did you stick. feel when you killed them? Shut up! Shut up! Ah! You! You killed my friends! Well, what if I did kill them? <laughs> okay, you're right. It was me. Damn it. I did do it. <laughs> Come on. I still think you should blame yourself, but mostly just for kicks. So this is Viola and me. And here's where shit gets wild. like to die there is no way out i have added emergency escape to the main menu please select emergency escape what do you mean after detaching the cockpit i will blow up genuity no i do not understand what do you mean by no just shut up let me think there must be something we can do what you are doing is a contradiction you say you want to protect people are your life and your passengers lives not also to be protected shut up no means no there is little time please understand what exactly do you not want to do you will get out with me what he broke free i did it <laughs> With the power of love? <laughs> Who knows, it happened. Don't think about it. Doesn't <laughs> work. This is a bad idea. I made a mistake. Here's another one. I should take you more seriously. What? I didn't hit it. Wow, I don't know the It is worthless. Do you mean useless? Viola. The next couple of fights are all pretty hard, if I recall correct. So they might take me a couple tries. But at least they're fun to watch and play. I feel like this is maybe the only fight, and then maybe the fight after this, but like, it actually fulfills on the promise of like the fast-paced, like, sword shoot combat action that this game promised. Oh, she grabbed me, but... Damn! This frame is... <laughs> Can I heal up? I'm not gonna heal up. Doesn't work. Here's another one. I should take you more seriously. Oh, nice grab. Damage 
Here's another one. I should take you more seriously. Damage to the surroundings increasing due to battle. Damage index exceeding 50%. Ah, oh, fuck, she did her slight charge last. Destruction oh, she had a different thing. Viola. <laughs> I just ran <laughs> into it, it's fine. It's fine, I'll just run into these starting attacks. You don't need that much health. Wow, that was insane. I did very bad. Destruction of the target Bravo is confirmed. I, I'm just Mission being a completionist complete. so I can I'll hear all the death now. quotes. Good job, Viola. Good job, Viola. Got completely dunked on that one. Damage to the surroundings increasing due to battle. Oh, that hit me from behind or something? Damn! <laughs> oh, you got comboed. What's that about? Oh, nice try. They tried to sneak you. Dash in and out on me. I should take you more seriously. So yeah, if you're wondering why I'm hyping up Zo2 so much, it's because literally every fight looks like this in Zo2. And that's why it's such a good game. But I really like this game, and I really like that this game plus Zo2 together has like this very slow build up. Because Zo2 has a really good like gradual power curve. <laughs> And if you take this game in, put it in that power curve, it gets even better. Damn it. Gotcha. It does have the best name protagonist. <laughs> it's all over. <laughs> you again? Oops. I'm tangled in my own headphone cord. There we go. <laughs> Mate, that's the perfect way to put it. I never expected a kid like you would be my match. You brought this on yourself! You killed! I had no choice! <laughs> Why don't you just kill me now? I will! Don't Why shove you a blade stop? in your dick! What's with you? Kill me. Don't say that! I won't! Rex, how, how far you off are you really, though? In mind, boy. I don't want to spoil it for in the mind. people who are seeing this for the first time. Every but... time you wonder whether or not how far to do off something, are you? you'll end up losing the target is still responding it is still alive i don't want to take her life i know there is something that i must remind you i must eject the cockpit next time do not repeat what you did last time what y yes i am a mere program a lifeless program what you did to save me was very illogical. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> Her voice cracks. So I good. detect movement. 
I will put it in the monitor. That's him! Rock Thunderheart in his cool car! Look at it! Fantastic. They have resorted to final measures. They're going to destroy us and the entire colony. The entire colony? The colony has a transportation unit to the spaceport. They've set several explosive devices there. If they explode, his model. the colony will falter in its orbital rotation and fall into Jupiter. No. That's how important that orbital frame is to them. So I'd like you to work for us one more time. What? You go and find the bombs. And when you find the bombs, spray Me? defusal on them. I watched you fight against the red one. I have to admit, you're better and the final than bomb is underneath Viola's dead body. You are the only one who can save the colony. No. I don't want to do that. Leo, listen to me. You go find them. I don't want to get involved anymore. I've had enough. Why me? Why always me? Frankly, no one else can fit inside. It's a very small cockpit. Let's go. What? Poorly designed. Let's go and find them, Leo. This is something you can do. Salvis, I'll come with you. So let's go. Did you even remember that Selvis was in the cockpit with him, guys? I, we were just I feel like you might survived. not have. Let's Next be honest time we here. May not be so lucky. I know. I forgot for a little bit, and then I remember. You protect me. Right? Salvis. It's insane that she is, the whole time. Oh my god, he killed Air. I mean, she killed the- he killed Selvis. The real name, Selvis. You need this done to you. You almost kind of messed up. I don't know if you've noticed. Selvis? Remember that time? And I know Two seconds ago? <laughs> you protect me. What's... <laughs> Damn! Viola! <laughs> that was like literally five seconds ago. Time to settle our fight. Come to Spaceport. I'll be waiting. God, what the fuck? Viola's like, fucking kill me already. How many times do I have to ask? Don't die in battle, I don't get to go to Valhalla. Leo. Could you please take care of Selvis for me? I will. I'll take care of her. You take care of what you have to. The bombs. I mean, kid, you need to do the bombs. Everybody will die if you don't defuse the bombs. You know that, right? development shell and it's good for him. Rock Thunderheart is like 
Yeah, it's probably for the best this girl got shot. That kid needed some fucking grit, honestly. An electromagnetic freight packet will be jettisoned out to the center of the colony. Man, we will I'm be ejected with containers around us, so be careful. Oh yeah, we're gonna get electromagnetically launched across the colony. Transportation route is confirmed. We will arrive at our destination in approximately five minutes. There is no immediate danger of hitting any obstacles. <sighs> what a relief. I hope Solvice is all right. Are you concerned about her? Well, yes, of course I am. Can we talk? Hunter truck in if and you thunder do not mind. No, I don't mind. I have calculated the expected rate of crew survival for the present mission. In a best case scenario, there is an 8.7% rate of survival. I see. You have asked for numerous transfers from your duties aboard Jehuti. You have also had many chances to do so. May I ask why you are still here? Are you preaching to me again? No, I am simply asking out of curiosity. Well, I really don't know. Based on past experience, I can offer several plausible reasons. One, an <laughs> overestimation of your fighting abilities based on an underestimation of the enemy's you think you're war hot potential. Shit. Two, desire for a reward in proportion to the danger of exposure to self-destruction. Three, emotional revenge for placing your crew's life in danger. Maybe you're right, but I really don't know myself. Oh, nice, man. Whatever your reason, it is not logical. It is still possible for you to go back now. It was mommy says. I do not want you to die. Ada. Well, can I tell you a story from when I was growing up? No. Please. <laughs> I've been alone since I was a boy. My father and mother were rarely at home. We hardly went out anywhere together. <laughs> Both of those jokes are very good. When I was 10 years old, my father was posted to Jupiter, so we went out for a rare family dinner together. I was so happy, but during the entire meal, my father and mother were fighting over who would take me. They weren't arguing to get me. They both wanted to get rid of me. That only reinforced my belief oh, that sad. I was an unwanted the child. Violin cover. The main theme. My friends and my teachers too. It's always been like that. I was the child no one wanted. Nobody will be upset if I'm gone. Even if I die, there would be no one to mourn my loss. The reason I stay here is because I'm needed. Selvis and you are by my side and. <laughs> there are even people to give me orders when I don't understand what's it's going great. on. It's great. There are people who need me finally. And for that, I'll devote my life to them. Are you saying that you would sacrifice your life? It's great. I love being a dipshit. Life for someone else? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I feel that together we <laughs> can do <laughs> it. We are almost at the central hub. There are sure to be many enemy orbital frames. It is expected that the battle will begin as soon as we arrive at the central hub. Please be very careful. Yes, sure. I am. What? I am one of those who need you. I am incapable of feeling sorrow. But do not throw your life away so easily. I understand. Thank you. We will be arriving at the central hub in a Is matter really of five moments. minutes. Time flies when you're having sad. I'm gonna hit the bathroom real quick there.
And I'm back. Definitely feel this um, ridiculous anime bullshit. But I probably appreciated it a lot more earnestly than I do now. So here you are. <laughs> Viola, this is an order. Get out immediately. I refuse your order. If you try to interfere, I'll kill you. Why do you want him so badly? He's only a kid. Only a kid, is he? <laughs> it's not just that frame that makes him so good. I know that. Just get out of there. The mission will be accomplished even without you. Wow. So you don't have to die in vain. You wow, thanks, know. Miguel 65 Gamer. Nate is immortal. <laughs> Almost there. Soon, everything will be over. I will search for the time bombs being set in the central hub. I will let you know every time I find one. So give priority to dead. Can't believe you banned them. Rather than to destroying the enemy. It's just getting to know Miguel. How do I do that? It is the same as grab and throw. Keep holding the bomb until it explodes. We will direct the blast into a vector trap. So we have to grab and then throw the bombs, but when we throw them, we'll throw them into like a Metatron hammer face shit. Also, I think we have to. Yeah, we just have to stay alive while while uh, it's she scans for them. We have shot down the enemy. We have obtained the Metatron ore. Yes, there's one. Oh yeah, we have to hold it like this, which means we can't really afford to get hit. Oh shit, the other one hit me. Oh god, that's a really tricky place for you supposed to be. God, they're like right next to each other. This sucks. Wow, this is actually going to- I've, I've never had mummy heads group up like that, that's brutal. And yeah, we're once she detects it, we're timed until we, to get it. <laughs> you actually unbanned him, I like that. Although if he actually posts again, bam. I think he's probably never gonna post again. We have shot down the enemy. Hey, I'm ahead of the curve. I detect a bomb. Enemy backup forces are in battle position. Fuck! <laughs> so what I did? So the button for grab is also the button for use sub weapon, and I didn't get close enough to grab, so I took out my giant laser sword. <laughs> uh, I did destroy the bomb. So here, in my defense. I detect the bomb. I will add a marker. Oh, he grabbed me. I need to kill him now. Because I'm really hurt. There we go. The news is, I think all of these enemies give you Metatron. Seems like it. Okay, they're separated this time. Not separated enough. Damn it. I detect the bomb. Damage index exceeding 50%. We have shot down the enemy. Damage index exceeding 75%, indicating major damage. We have shot down the enemy. Alright. I'm a little behind on this one, but I think I'm good. 
got to be a little more careful now. Oh god, I can't get out. I gotta just hope. We have shot down the enemy. Come on, come on, come on. Wow, that was close. The bomb was detonated. Wow, that was close. I guess I just sort of wait, huh? <laughs> oh, I could have used mummy. Oh well. Enemy backup forces are in battle position. I hope I'm far enough away. I think I am. They're mummy heads, so they won't move quickly. Oh wait, one of them's there. Not a mummy. We have shot down the enemy. Yeah. Shot down the enemy. I'll detect a bomb. And count. Something's dashing up right behind me. I don't like it. Okay, I'm good. The bomb was detonated correctly. A level 7S. How about a level 1 gauntlet? How about that? We have shot down the enemy. We have obtained the Metatron or Yeah, I detonated it in like a subspace trap, so I'm sure it's fine. I just blew up someone's, like, closet or something. <laughs> now it's zombie meat. As in, it's literally called zombie meat somewhere. Or maybe that's just what all the fans call it, I don't know, but... Oh yeah, by the way, the music's adaptive. I don't know if you've all noticed, but when I shield, it does this. It gets all muted. And if I charge, it does a different thing. Oh. <laughs> okay, I gotta concentrate to fight zombie meat here, she's kinda doing a good job. Damage index exceeding 75%, indicating major damage. I'm dead. <laughs> I overestimated you. I really wanted you to kill me. <laughs> so she's using, like, anger and also, I guess, Metatron to just sort of hold the pieces of her arms together, which is kind of cool as hell. <laughs> So this Viola is not as vulnerable when she does long range stuff. So I think she's kind of very close range. Or maybe she's less very close range, because she keeps dashing. Whoa! That was an attack. Cool looking. Damage index exceeding 50%. <laughs> Exceeding 75%, major damage. And it cheats us a little bit. Uh, Although she's shooting damage. through the wall a little bit, so maybe it's not that cheap. Yeah, okay, so her melee attacks are very powerful and long range, but she kind of overcommits to use them since, you know, her arms are broken. So if you block them or just get out of the way of them, she'll be vulnerable after. Got it. Ooh, we gotta be careful for that one. That'll go through your shield. Gotcha.
suicide by No, it's a bomb. No! Off to Mars. Do you want me to shift the monitor? The Do you want camera? to watch her die? Yes. Ada, could we go and save the frame? Jehuti is not designed to resist entry into Jupiter's magnetic storm. Oh, right, it's Jupiter, storm. not Mars. The orbital frame is already being pulled ever faster by gravity. While it is not impossible to save the orbital frame, it is very risky. Any ideas? Stop it. What? Still, you insult. I want to die. Don't even consider it. Yeah, sorry. I've been mixing it up the if whole stream. Save me, I gotta write the first stream. I will I think. fight you again, and I will kill you. Spoiler: Zone of the Enders Two is on Mars. The people that are precious to you. All right, first. that's why. Oh, was I wrong on the first one too? My you. And you won't be the last. I'll continue to kill even after that. Oops, that sounds like me. But you <laughs> I was beaten by such a naive. I know I actually brat. like this bit. I shouldn't talk Viola. over it. I have lost everything. I survived many battles. I lost my parents and my lover. I don't have the functions of a woman now. It's supposed to mean. Even then, I think I know I what it's supposed to mean, but no one would ever say it like that. Right. To survive was the only purpose to life. To survive is my life. In battle, there's a slight gap between life and death. Those who were killing were themselves dead a moment later. I killed innocent children and even my comrades to save I think myself. she is so man made but it's a wild way to say it blood and eating their flesh I managed to live this long it is not a matter of my luck it was only my vibrant power that kept me <laughs> my alive. vibrant beautiful I survived through my <laughs> own strength you ruined it for me. Who the hell are you? What am I inferior to you in? Have you ever... Have you ever experienced any hardship in your life? You, your very existence itself, denies mine. She's pissed because, like, he's more powerful than her, but she, he doesn't even kill people. Time to end it. Which is like, what the fuck? I had to kill people to live. What the fuck is wrong with this kid? My ill-fated days, forever over. Boy, will you answer one stupid question? Yes. What is it? Was I strong? It's hard to believe that I'm still alive. Is that so? <laughs> Thank you. The target is disintegrating. Viola? Beautiful. You knew how beautiful the stars really are. Viola! Brado. At last. Hey, it's backstory. I can be with you. The target has ceased functioning. Confirmed. What is it? What's going on? Ada? I detect an enemy presence. Dun dun. Barum was here to steal two orbital frames. And one of them was Jehuti. And one of them is Anubis. Jehuti is resonant with that frame. Ada? Where did it come from? 
Radar didn't catch it. In our present condition, you cannot defeat Anubis. Recommend you fly away. Anubis, you <laughs> Anubis, said? you said? You know it? Ada! That frame is another Jehuti. You two are not destined to meet yet. What do you mean? I knew others could be killed, but I never thought... I never thought the killing could happen to she me. She was a capable officer. You! You ordered all this! No. So this is kind of his girlfriend, but not really. Well, perhaps. In any case, you will die. A farewell gift to Viola. <laughs> oh. so here's the Anubis fight. I see. At least you're good at running away. He uh teleports wherever he feels like. Brilliant. This performance, this style. This is exactly what I wanted. The ultimate orbital frame. Symbol of Metatron. What's up? You're finished? And he gets the Dark and Edgy remix. I really like this song. It's impossible for you to kill me. Nothing to say. Yeah. Main torque bus in the body is damaged. Superiority index has dropped to minus 99.83. I was so close! Super weren't. Leo, can you hear me? Leo? Elena? I'll blast a hole in the side walls of the central hub in 15 seconds. Follow the beacon signal. I'll give you cover with my cannons. Be careful. If you deviate even slightly from the beacon, you'll get burned. I'll try. See you soon. Good luck. <laughs> Kaboom! Wow, that's a lot of slowdown. Yeah, this did come out when that might have been a Charlie Sheen meme. Remember, maybe not. Try not to veer away from the crosshairs marking the beacon. In this exciting sequence, we have to watch a cutscene of us flying through the shots. And we're finally on the ship we were trying to get to the whole time. So we can take this frame to... I forget if they're going to Jupiter or Mars. Which I guess is funny, considering I've been mixing those up the whole time. Good job, boy. But Jehu-T has an important Don't mission. Worry. She's just fine. To help Good. earn the tide of battle. Single-handedly. It will require three minutes to stow away in the hangar and to pressurize. Please wait. You know, thank you for everything. Because you are with me, I survived. I feel the same. <laughs> thank you for helping me out. Like we're both each other's mommy. Is that the right usage of words to show human gratitude? <laughs> sort of, yes. Well, what are you going to do now? What? After you reach Mars. You have an important mission, don't you? If it's okay with you. I mean, after you finish your mission. Jehuti's duty on Mars is to penetrate the military fortress Alman and to destroy the fortress from the inside by self-destructing Jehuti. Jehuti will self-destruct? By deliberately overactivating the generator, Jehuti will generate a maximum of 22.3 yeah. gigawatts. That is equal to the power of 15 positron bombs. Wait a minute! You mean you'll deliberately explode this frame? What about you? All my functions aboard Jehuti will cease. So it's a suicide mission? I thought it was you who told me not to waste my life!
Pressurization is complete. Opening the hatch. Thank you. Ada! This is what I live for. This is the purpose of living. For those I feel like she may not be able to run on outside of Jehu t no! because she probably needs Metatron to work or some shit. Hi Boots, you're here just in time for the actual end credits. That's the end of the game! It just ends there! It's just over! It's just done now! The final boss fight is you run away from a dude for 30 seconds! It really, it really literally is the shareware version of Zone of the Enders 2. It's like, episode one is over. <laughs> it's so good, honestly. It throws you for such a loop, I like it a lot. Kiss me sunlights. I may have mentioned this, but the, the theme, the main theme to the game has different lyrics in the Japanese and English version, but they're both mostly English. So I don't know why they changed them. They don't make any sense either way. There might be something in the credits, or that might just be it. I can't remember. I think that might just be it. God, that's so good. Yeah, the character names in the credits are good too. Those are the bosses. Slash, X, Night Raid. I miss the others, but very good. The big end drama boots is that your robot is actually going to go blow itself up. And you just started loving her. And she just started loving you. And then it ends. So, I, you can see why people thought of this as the game that came free with the Metal Gear Solid 2 demo. Because, like... It's half a game. Oh, you you did me <laughs> Ceviche got shot, yeah. <laughs> um, so I've still got stream time left. Two demos on one disc? No, they were actually separate discs. Um, the, the, uh, the, the, the jewel case. I guess it's not a jewel case, because it's DVD case style, but you know what I mean. It had a weird little thing where you flip and there's, like, another holder underneath. Which, like, didn't really work very well, because when you tried to put a disc in the top one, like, it sort of bent in, because it was flimsy. Not a great design. Game design. So I think I'm just gonna go into Zone of the Enders 2 next time, and I'm actually gonna buy the version for PC because I'm insane. Um, instead of playing this version, because the version for PC is like a full. I don't know. It's apparently like a pretty extensive remake, and it comes with like VR support, which I won't be using, obviously. There's a PC version of Zone of the Enders 2, not of one. It's on Steam. Uh, it's it might also be on Google. It's, I think it just came out for a bunch of things. Um, but I'm not gonna do it tonight. I don't even have it downloaded, so that won't work. Yet, yet too. Um, one has never. This is the only re-release that one got. It's never gotten a remaster. It's never gotten on PC. It's probably a shame. But I can see why, because most people are interested in two. Which is fair, because it's the better game, but it's really just a continuation of this one. I think once the credits are done, I might do... I don't know. Maybe I'll do a run of Eden? Or maybe I'll do some Streets of Rage and lose at it? Oh, you know, I wonder if it does. Probably not, because I feel like the 360 emulator doesn't work very well, period, but I've never actually used it. I've just heard that it's not good. But Boots, this game specifically runs exceptionally poorly on PCSX2. 
like it's one of the worst running games, I think. Well, shout out to Helvetica. But yeah, I don't think there's a lot of push behind 360 emulation. In general. I don't know that it's harder. Yeah, I saw that major release. Um, I, th I think it wouldn't help with this. Because I think I tried their beta branch. It was probably pretty close to but I don't really know. I did try their beta branch. I don't know how close. So my overall evaluation is C because I got four C's and an E because I skipped that one. Um, I think your evaluation is based entirely on the SOS missions, which are insanely hard to A rank. I think as a kid I got overall B rank once or twice, but I never got over. That's Zone of the Enders. And I will save this data for no particular reason. A sad anime. I'm not going to reveal anything about Zone of the Enders 2, because I, it goes some good places. Is there any bonuses? I don't... Oh, there's verses actually. That's cool. I forgot. The versus mode is actually really cool in this game. You get to play as a bunch of different... Um, as, like, a whole bunch of different enemies. I think you have to unlock the last two by beating it on, like, extreme mode or something, or getting better rankings. Um, it's surprisingly full-featured. I just want to see what Neath's moveset is. Damn, she's iffy. Like, I'm kind of surprised they put this in, considering it's not really a thing that anybody wanted or was going to use. But, like, it literally works just fine. And, like, it's a little confusing when you're not the person in front, I guess, but it basically works. And it's, like... They actually made it, like, it's not really balanced, it's not supposed to be, like, Neath is straight up more capable than the Raptor. But, uh, it's a cool mod. I won't show off any more of it, I just kind of forgot that it did until right now. Yeah, it's really neat, and I always tried to get my friends to play it with me, and they did some, but they hadn't played Zone of the Enders, so... I think the other two characters you can get... I know you can get Zombie Neath. You might be able to unlock Anubis. I'm not sure. I think maybe not. Maybe it's an alternate version of JIT or something. I don't remember. But I think that's the only extra in this game. Reporting on which the log Uh, so yeah, let me switch back over to PC, which will actually. Yeah, I will have to unplug the audio cord, which means I'll have to restart my stream again. Really quick, like? I can do so. His name is Leo Steinbuck. One moment. 